many people don't realize what these dogs do in their career. They just think they're dogs. They're more than a pet. Over the years have been a great tool for us. Um, they've come in extremely handy in helping us find a lot of um, uh, suspects. They've also helped us locate missing children. They are partners in crime. It's why a memorial now stands at the Highland Pit Cemetery, remembering dogs like Santo. His photo etched on a stone monument. He was choked and stabbed while working with Kenton County Sheriff's Office. While he survived, the job took a toll on him. He was retired already. He passed away from a twisted intestine. So he'd been through a lot, and then he passes away like that. He was nine years old. It was very sad, and I saw how emotional my husband was because it was his partner. Santos is one of many being remembered on this memorial. It's a place not only for owners to cope emotionally with the loss of losing a dog, but also financially. Once the dogs retire, the owners have to pay out of pocket to bury their pet. The design of this foundation was to provide burial markers and etching for those officers who lose their canine partner. The foundation will cover that for free of charge. Mayor of Villa Hills, Heather Jansen, has an extra interest in this. Her parents left money for charity and the family made a donation to the memorial site. There was such a need for the canine heroes that having been involved with the cemetery with our parents, uh, it was just nice to be able to do something where the officers, the handlers, people from the department, the community can come and recognize the service they did. But the officer can come here and have their time as well. And I know my husband has been doing that and I think that gives them some peace. In Northern Kentucky, Kendra LaFleur, WCPO 9 News.